Okay, so this is a free program called Deep Sky Stacker. Um, there's a link for it in the description and on the web page for the guide. Um, so you want to use this if you took anything more than just your light frames. So if you took any dark frames or flat frames, you can use this to uh, stack them all. You don't have to. You don't have to convert your raw files either. It'll do, this will open the raw files directly and then it outputs a 32-bit TIFF file at the end. So the first thing you want to do is open picture files up here and then um, you want to add all your light frames, so I got 12 of them here. And just check them off. Just got them all listed here. Then you want to go to your dark files up here. Click that. Bring in your dark frames. There they are. And now flat files. And bring in any flat frames you have. And just is really easy. All you have to do now is click this here register checked pictures. And then. Um, can leave these options checked like this automatic detection of hot pixels um, and stack after registering. If you have a ton of light frames and some of them might be aren't ideal, maybe some of them have clouds in them or something, or maybe an airplane went by and left a bunch of you know streaks of light, you can say set this to 80% or something and it'll discard any frames that have any anomalies in them. Um, if you go to stacking parameters, um, if you just do if you're just stacking a normal picture you leave it a standard mode, but there's other modes too. Um, if you go to light frames it's the default is average stacking. You can experiment with these other ones, but I just always leave it at that. Dark frame, I leave it at that too. Same with flat. Um, alignment, this is so if your pictures are slightly off or they're slowly drifting as you take more pictures, it'll crop the, it'll align it by all the stars and then crop it so that it works out properly. And then in cosmetic, you can click this detect and clean remaining hot pixels and cold pixels. There probably won't be any, but I leave it there anyway just in case some got left over. And then you click OK. OK. Alright. OK again. And now it's going to go through all the files. First it, first it stacks all like the dark frames and the flat frames. And then it's going to go through every light frame. And you can see it's counting the amount of stars that it finds in the frame. So each of these light frames has about about 10,000 stars. So it also uses that star number to determine what frames to use. And just you can see this is still three minutes left. So I'm going to stop the video now, but once you're done it'll just leave a file in the same folder where your original files were called autosave.tiff and that's the file you'll be using in Photoshop. So now that your file is stacked, you can go into Photoshop and open the file. And the first thing you want to do before you do any editing, since this is a 32-bit file, you want to go to Image, Mode, and click here to change it to a 16-bit file. Um, for the method, uh, just go to exposure and gamma, so to just leave it like that. Leave the exposure at zero, the gamma <clears throat> at one, because you're going to be changing the levels later anyway. Just click OK. And now your file is ready for editing. So you can move on to the next tutorial.